Well, hello, Garden of the Kids and Good Smith family. This is Katrina. As many of you guys know, our family reunion will be held here in Memphis, Tennessee on September the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Now let's talk about the registration dues. The registration letters have been sent out via mail, via email. Because of the holidays, the, legend, the letters will be delayed. But just give us some time and we'll get that information. The information we get over to you. If you don't receive it at all, definitely by next week, contact me and Sharon and we'll get that information over to you. Now I want to talk about the registration dues. The household registration payment for the early bird is $150. That's for household, those who live in the household. Any additional child to their household is $25. For the individual payment for the early bird is $65 per household. The deadline for that will be February the 15th. The regular registration after the February the 15th deadline for the household is $200 per household. Any additional child to that household would be $40 per child. And for the individual payment, is $100 per individual. Now let's talk a little bit. I want to explain the household payments. The household payment are for those who live in your household. The household is for the mother, the father, and the two children. Now the reason why I am emphasizing and explaining what the household payment is because some people, you know, saw a loophole a few years ago when we first held the reunion. And I was talking to Sharon about the family reunion dues and how we were going to go about it. And I was telling her that I want to do the household payment like we did the last time because it was her brilliant idea. And I'm glad she came up with the early bird and for the household. So like she wanted to do away with uh, the household payment. And I asked her why. She said people took advantage of it. She was getting the dues and registration in Arkansas. I was doing a footwork here in Tennessee, so we just, it, it never became an issue that um, people were taking advantage of, we saw a loophole in the household payment, because we were expecting and preparing for 100 people, but we ended up with well over 300 people, so we had a lot of wiggle room, so we never felt the, the squeeze of people taking advantage of the household payment. Now we're back at square one. People were paying for uh, the husband, the wife, the brother-in-law, and the sister. They sent in their payments in. This is their household payment. When they shortchanged us $45 per individual. We also have a system set in place. We have a system set in place where we can uh, spot who is taking advantage of the household payment. So please don't let that be. Please pay what you what what is owed to the committee. We have a bill that's due in March, and uh, we want to make sure that the funds are there, and we want to make sure that no one is being taken advantage of. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next year. Again.